Hello, hello. Today, as you can see, I have my favorite combo, LFO going through Quantizer. It's great until we realize there's a problem. It's very uneven, rhythmically. So, in this tutorial, we'll talk about different techniques and modules that deal with this problem. In other words, how can we make those even arpeggios with our LFOs and quantizers? So, the easiest way is to go through another quantizer before and divide it into four equal parts. However, sometimes it doesn't work so well. Uh, let's say we have C major chord, C major 7. As you can see, this 7th is not triggering. So, we just put another quantizer on the way and help this one note find its way. Almost like drawing imaginary line. Another example, um, the first four notes of C minor scale. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a funny rhythm. If you like it, just keep it. But if you want to have a smooth arpeggio, we need two or three quantizers. So the first one, always remember, equal, uh, dividing into equal parts. And then we're drawing those imaginary lines between notes. And here we go. This technique also works with triads because we can divide this first uh, quantizer into three equal halves, uh, <laughs> three, uh, three equal parts. Um, however, it's uh, slightly more difficult with pentatonic and heptatonic. So let's say we have a nice pentatonic scale here. We cannot divide 12 by five. So the trick is to go through a VCA you divide the first one into four, not five, equal parts, and you set this VCA to 80%. And the same or similar technique um, we can use on heptatonic scales. In this case, we're dividing this one into six even parts and setting VCA to 85.7. And here we go. Now, this technique is, is very useful if you have your favorite quantizer and you don't want to lose it and you just need to add this extra feature of proportional quantization. So it's a universal method. However, if you're willing to part ways with your favorite quantizer, then this one is probably the best for proportional quantization. Uh, it's by um, in a, a plugin Grande and it's very easy to overlook because this package, this plugin focuses mainly on microtonal quantization. Um, however, this quantizer is small and absolutely fantastic. And there's this little switch here. And here we go. Now it's even uh, equi-likely what uh, he's calling it, but um, it's a proportional quantization, however you want to call it. And this quantizer also has really nice perks. It's, uh, it has a trigger. Uh, you can also feed it a, your own scale via poly polyphonic cable, meaning you can really modulate scale in some crazy ways. Different modes of rounding. Fantastic quantizer. Uh, in, the same, uh, in the same package, you also have this microtonal quantizer, um, which also has that equi-likely equi -likely mode or proportional for microtones, or um, in this case, let's do quarter tones. Right? Now, here's the fun part. Even if you're not interested in um, quarter tones, you can use this quantizer as two octaves um, quantizer. By a very simple trick, you're, you need to boost this signal um, by a factor of two. And that means in dB, it's 6 dB. 
So if we, on the input, if we have one volt range, here we go, we have one octave. Um, yeah, so we have a microtonal quantizer that we use as two octave quantizer. It's very useful, it's more musical than uh, just one octave, um, octave um, quantizer. This is how you play it on the piano, right? You spread the, the lower register. And there's also a little trick with 8-phase by Stormelder. We can save presets of other modules. So in this case, I'm going to bind it to this quantizer. I'm going to save it as the first preset. Uh, let's say this will be our second. Sets, right? Three chords. Um, and this quantizer, remember, it's also polyphonic, which is fantastic because... Where's my polycon? Okay, here's my polycon. Uh, let's set uh, number of voices to four. Uh, and let's randomize it. Spread in stereo field. And now we are going to go through Valhalla Shimmer. And we can build pads. You can see it's a it's a it's a pretty powerful um, powerful combo here. Um, and let's reset everything. Um, so that was Grande. Um, there's also a fantastic quantizer called Scalar, Custom Scalar, and this one is actually proportional by default. So in this ver in this case, you're feeding entire range from zero to ten volt on the input and and you decide which notes you need and then it will spread it evenly so you know it's five octaves so you can really uh, experiment a lot with this. Um, and this quantizer obviously has a, has a change, so it's like a triggering on every note. You can use it for your envelopes. Um, but it also has this fantastic random input. So each time it triggers, it will roll a dice on different steps and disable them. Custom Scaler, uh, amazing quantizer. It's probably, um, yeah, for, for multi-octave uh, uh, quantizer, it's probably the best one. And finally, there's a, there's a little trick I want to share with you guys, which is Bog Audio has this really nice, simple module. We can just decide what pitch we want. But... If we pair it, remember 8-phase, our good old friend? Now I'm going to use double. Remember, it saves presets. Now, this note is our preset. So I'm going to save it as one. So 
have my scale, and uh, by default, by the way, uh, very important, if I want to disable remaining steps, which will be important in a second, I'm just holding it until they disappear. So you can, you can use it like a sequencer. And as a sequencer, it's actually fantastic because you have different modes. Ping pong, uh, pseudo random, which is random without note repetition. However, we are interested in this particular mode, 0 to 10 volt, because now we can really use it like a quantizer. And not only that, um, we can pick one of these nodes and tune it differently. <laughs> Right, so it's like a really convenient uh, way of setting those those notes with microtonal tuning. And here's the best part. Um, if we add another 8 phase to the left, remember it will bind to now <laughs> this 8 phase will be saving preset, presets of this 8 phase. So it means that I want to save this as my first preset. And then I'll say, okay, uh, let's reset this guy over here. And let's do E flat major scale. Let's go lower. And one more. Now let's try to remember. I'm going to hold this note over here until and now on the left one on the left eight phase I'm going to save it as my preset number two right so I have I can have like 16 different scales here and hey you could technically put more here to have let's say you know, 256 scenes. It's, it's really uh, wild. You can just build it. Um, and now if we switch this one to trigger forward, so using like a preset sequencer, I could put a clock on the way and say I want to change this chord every four cycles. 